Okay. Okay, it's time. I will show you a build. Yeah, hey, yourselves. This is a build. This is a build that I would recommend if you are a player who doesn't really want to mess around with Ling Bane early on, but you still want to be able to hit a timing. And this build is particularly good on this map, Death Aura, because a couple reasons. The first reason is the creep gets from here to here really fast. Another reason is this area is pretty narrow, so you can actually wall it off with two buildings and some queens. And your roach attack hits super fast with these zoomy zones. Your units travel faster through here, so a roach timing that would normally hit a little bit later is that much faster on Death Aura. So I'll go through the build here so you can see what it's all about. I'm going 13 Overlord and then a drone. GLHF. Two drones when the Overlord is done. And then at around 150 to 200 minerals, you send a drone from the main to the natural. There we go. The main and the natural are extremely close on this map. So you can send it a little bit later on most maps, but it's not that big of a deal. Going for a 16 hatch. The first overlord is being rallied here to go see if there's creep. That's going to tell me if it's hatch first or pool first. And then the overlord is going to double back to be able to watch this third base location. My second overlord, which just came out, is going to, I think, here or so. So I'm going to check the other third base location and then maybe watch this ramp. So we'll take my vision for this. Droning up to 18 and then I'll go for an extractor and then a spawning pool. I just rally it from the eggs here. So this egg that's almost done is going to be rallied here. Take a gas and the other one I'll take a pool. The reason I take a pool here is so that you could wall off. You can make a hatchery here and then an evo there and block the spine drone lean cheese for a little bit longer. Panda Bear Me did a really nice comprehensive guide on how to defend that build in a variety of situations. I would recommend that. Twitch.tv slash Panda Bear Me if you want to check them out. So I'm going for a 19 Overlord or a 20 Overlord. 19 Overlord is a little bit safer. You can play a Dangerous if you want to though. So this next Overlord is just going to go mid-map right here, and it's going to drop creep to help the push hit even faster. This will be a layer plus one roach speed attack with a little bit less than two base saturation. Two queens as soon as the spawning pool is done, and drones actually. I'm not making lings here. My plan is to defend attacks with queens and a wall off and an earlier than usual roach warren. So I see creep and I feel pretty safe. I know it's hatch first, it could be a Ling Bane all in, but I'm going to do something special to make myself safe against timings that have Ling speed and a Bane nest. What's going to happen is we're going to make 30 Overlord, and then the Queen in the main is going to inject. The Queen at the natural is going to lay a creep tumor, so we can get a fast wall off. Inject the main, creep the natural and make a second Queen in the natural. The Queen in the main can come down and we start a lair right away. We're still droning and droning. Drone as fast as you can. And then now here at a little bit around like three minutes or so, I'm gonna take a roach horn here in the wall. And then I'm gonna get another drone, get an evo chamber there. So this way I can have two queens that kind of share the surface area in the wall. You could take a simple approach and just put one queen here, but if you put two queens like I'm about to set up in a little bit, then only two Zerglings at a time can attack the Queens, which is extremely low DPS. So they're sharing the damage if they both fit in the slot together. So I'm injecting the base. I just injected it twice. That way these Queens don't have to leave their spot. It's kind of annoying to set it up sometimes, but remember to use hold position. Once the Queens are set, hold position will keep them there. If a Ling comes up, say right here, and the queens are not on hold position and the ling retreats, the queens will give up their position and they'll run in the front of the wall and then a whole bunch of links will run in. So they need to stay very rooted on this position. So the queen that I made in the natural, the second one is just gonna go up to the main and her job is gonna be to inject the main. Amazing. 
I'll go back to when I took the second gas here, just so you have a note of that. This was going to be about, yeah, so about three minutes, 3.05. After you take these two, just grab a gas, getting those injects, spreading the creep. Try to make sure the creep tumor doesn't block the queens or block the buildings for the wall off. Queen injects the main. It's drone, drone, drone. You're just making drones and overlords until the roach horn is done. I've not made a single zerg during this entire time. And I'm going plus one range with the evo as soon as it's up. And then as soon as the lair is done, I'll get roach speed. And the lair is almost done. And it's pretty early. This is three minutes 41 and the lair is complete. I'm taking one more gas. So we have three gases of income. And I'm going to stop drones at a count that I will show you here in a second. Let's go to the production tab. I have 38 right now. And I'm making roaches. So I've decided this is enough. This isn't a ton of economy. You could say that full two base economy would be 44, where you have all four gases saturated, 16 on minerals at each base. But I just have one gas in the main, two gas at the natural, 16 workers mining minerals in the main with the queen injecting and then it's going to be fewer than 16 because i'm going to pull three workers from the natural mineral line into the gas when it's done and we're just making roaches and overlords you have to make a whole bunch of overlords with this build because roaches are two supply each you, and they're pretty cheap so you can make them really fast so i'm making two overlords right now roaches are being made and I'm waiting for a little bit. I don't need to reveal this because I want the roaches to hit all at once rather than two by two. Got the roaches and the queens in the wall. With roaches this early, you're pretty safe against Ling Bane all-ins and that kind of thing. And if they did go for Roach Ling, you have roaches and you're going to have an upgrade and roach speed sooner. So it's a really nice position to be in. I'm going to take a third base behind this as I move out. So we're moving out at around 440 ish you see this overlord is dropping creep with the fast layer and so is this one so these roaches go super fast the super zoomy roach build injecting bases behind it and from here you could all in and just keep making roaches and try to outright win the game or you could drone your third drone your not in your third that's fine i'm taking out the spine first here because that's the highest dps against my roaches and because roaches have an attack speed that's kind of slow, I'm trying to do a volley of attacks and then run to get value for my speed while the roaches recharge. This is kind of like orb walking in MOBA games like Dota and stuff, where you're just trying to run and utilize your ranged and stay away from melee. So that's what the roaches are doing here. So I just shoot and then I move and I shoot and I move. And the new roaches are reinforcing here. And that's about it. It's a pretty strong build. You might not outright win, but you can usually deal some pretty heavy damage. Remember to go back to your bases and inject. The follow-up to this could be plus two attack, and then you drone up maybe, say, to 50, and then you could go for another heavy roach attack with plus two. So you're using the upgrades and mainly timing your pressure with that. This would have been a Spire play, is what the opponent was going for. The match ended, so the Spire didn't complete. But if it was Spire, you could also take Burrow. You see right here, I have basically enough money for Burrow anyway, and that would make this attack a lot more annoying to clean up, especially if I can have roaches at this base burrowed, roaches here burrowed, and that kind of thing. So there you go, a safe, Speed Roach plus one attack build that's going to be good on short rush maps and maps that have a really narrow natural expansion. Some maps where this might be bad could be something like Ice and Chrome. And the reason for that would be this natural wall off area is huge. It's just so far from one side to the other. So you would need Roach Warren Evo Evo, and it would take your creep longer to get there as well. Golden Wall, you can maybe do it on this map. Eternal Empire, it's pretty far away, and you have to attack in your opponent at weird angles, so it might not be as good on this map, but it's still pretty good. I have lost to that build on this map. Death Aura is the map that I showed you. 
Everdream, it would work pretty well on this one. It's fairly short rush and the natural is pretty tight. And then Pillars of Gold, maybe not as good, but you could still go for it. If you're, say, below Masters, it doesn't really matter what map it is. But if you care about that kind of thing, Submarine is good because it's super short rush. Yep, there you go. Speed Roach build for ZVZ if you want to avoid Ling Bane and still attack. Why take the third gas at the natural instead of the main? Usually it's just a convenience choice. It doesn't have any effect on the income overall. Typically the main and the natural are both rallying their drone production to the natural. So you just hatch his larva drone and drones are naturally going to the second base. So it doesn't matter. What would be the ideal response if he scouted the Warren Evo? So ideally there would have been a Roach Warren a little bit earlier. That build is going to be hard to defend with spines. There wasn't a scout of the Roach Speed and ranged attack, so the opponent was overly greedy. They had a third base and a Spire. If the opponent didn't have a third base and they went for five spines, they may have been able to defend that with Roaches. <laughs> 